Hello, today we're gonna build a house in The Sims 4, but the challenge is that each room is a different decade. So let's go, shall we? Our freaking shall. All right, so here I am in my little spin spin wheel, and I've written down all the different decades from 1800s up until today. Now you might see that it pops up from 1800s right on to 1900s, and the reason for that is I don't really know the difference between each decades of the 1800s. I am sorry, but I, I don't know. And that leads me on to my next point, which is a little disclaimer and the disclaimer is that these rooms are not going to be historically accurate okay i'm just telling you now because one i am not an expert and two it's going to be quite difficult to find historically accurate furniture in the sims you know but i shall do my best i shall try we shall make some vibes and um let's crack on <laughs> so yeah let's spin the first spin of the day and we're gonna spin for the exterior and the front and back garden of the house oh the whole shebang let's spin for it one two three Spin that wheel. Oh, 1920s. That was right on there. Oh, wow. Okay, 1920s. I have to Google this because I really don't know. All right, so here are some 1920s homes. I see. I don't know what I'm seeing, but I'm seeing something. <laughs> okay, let's see. Colonial Revival. Oh, wow. About 40% of homes were built in Colonial Revival style between the 1910s and 1930s. I mean, that's a good percentage. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take some inspiration from this and some other Colonial Revival. Rivals, and we're gonna crack on. Alrighty, here I am on me little lot. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I think so. Well, anyways, let's start building this colonial home. And it is just a box, isn't it? I mean, it is. So let's just... Eh, you know, something like that. And then, just a standard old roof. Wow, beautiful. I love it already. Okay, let's put in some uh, some windows, maybe. I want to go with those shutter windows. I mean, the house that I'm looking at right now has some shutters, so why can't we? And then, we need some wallpaper, so maybe, maybe white. Ooh. You know what? That could be funky or really, really boring. Just a black and white house. Well, anyways, we need a door. This is apparently a black door, but that's like gray. Interesting. I love that for me. Okay, I think I want a tiny, tiny, tiny little porch right there with a triangular roof. I think that would be fun. Yeah, that could be a vibe. Okay. <laughs> I tried to put in the little, um, oh, what's the word for that? Varanda. I'm saying it in Norwegian. I, I don't care. Varanda. Right there. And uh, it kind of looks like a little face. I. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. It, maybe it will look better if I put up some trees. Everything looks better when you just put up some trees to hide everything. But okay. <laughs> it's a front part. Dikes. I thought that I could put up some little dormers around here. Maybe that would be something. Something indeed. Maybe I can size this a little bit up to get some dimensions. Well, I mean, mm, do I like that? Maybe I do. I mean, it does look like the house that I'm looking at in the picture. Like, it does look like it, but uh, it's kind of boring. Not gonna lie, it's kind of boring. But it is what it is. Let's move on to the planting of the garden. And this is a big garden. I see how it is. But I thought I'm just gonna do some sketching as I like to do some good old sketching if we have some sort of walkway here and then maybe some walkways out here and then some sort of flower bed situation here somewhere and then the pathway shan't go up here and then go around here and then we can have something there yeah. And that is my sketching of what I'm gonna do. So I think we're gonna begin with this flower bed situation first. And uh, what would work with that? Maybe this, actually. If I just size it down, and then just maneuver it around. Maneuver it. All right. <laughs> I uh, I have placed down these uh, thingy thingies. It's not perfect, as you can see here, but I was going insane and I had to stop somewhere. Right, let's put some plants in there. What kind of plants do I want? Interesting. Maybe. Oh, cute. I'm just planting away. And I guess the only building tip that I really have for this is... Uh, um, come on, or I think of something. Is to place the large plants in the back and then create a little curve. So it goes from tallest all the way to the smallest and then, you know, so it doesn't all look flat. You know, that's the only tip I have. Alrighty, here is my little flower bed. It's looking lovely. I like that. And I put up some little more details on the house because I got bored of the plants. Uh, <laughs> right. I think I'm going to start doing some bushes on the sides of the house just to hide everything up, you know. Hide everything up with some bushes. Alright. Me bushes has been placed as you can see they have been placed okay now for me next move i'm gonna just make a little bush fence just to secure everything in oh wow this is gonna be fun fun day for nora very fun day <laughs> there you go that's some bushes for you okay <laughs> i think i want to make a little entrance right here with a little bush gate and i um, i have to make a little bush wall oh yikes oh i am already regretting this decision but if i just go like so and then start placing them in with the ambiance all right this is how it's looking 
looking so far. Yikes. I mean, it's a little wiggly boogala. I wish that I could put more on top here, but then the bush is gonna come through and mm, I'm tired. Yeah, let's do the same thing on the other side and yay, yeah, love it. And there is me second bush. Wonderful, uh, really wonderful. I have nothing more to say about that. But, uh, I don't know, it's missing something. I'm gonna put some more plants up in there. Maybe, maybe that will fix everything. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, made it a little bit better, I must say. Okay, let's move on to making the pathway because it's not gonna look like this. So I think I just go something like so. Yeah. Oh, maybe. I wanted to follow the curve of that flower bed, but I, I don't know how. Okay, I've made it a little bit better. It isn't perfect, but uh, it's the best I can do. Right. I thought to make it pop this little pathway, I'm gonna put up some of stones. This one, which is actually a package from Debug. And if I size it up a little bit, it kind of looks like a little rock. So I think I'm just gonna place that just all around town. All around town. Everywhere I go, I place up me rocks for the ambiance. Oh, I have placed me rocks. Jesus, guys, that was a workout. But here it is. It's looking kind of funky. I like it. Right, let's move on to the back side. <laughs> and for the back side, maybe we can put up a little fountain. Maybe that will be fun. Just right in the middle. Then we can have a little walkway up there. Maybe. I don't know what people have in the back gardens in the 1920s because uh, I wasn't there. So, well, uh, let's crack on with this back garden shenanigan pathway. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. Okay. Wait. Uh. Okay. So, here's the little pathway. I made it a lot better. A lot smoother. Took a long time. Not fun to watch. Not fun to do. There's a little pathway. And now we're gonna put up the rocks again. Nora is putting up her rocks again and she is doing so fine and then right here maybe we can have a little bench so they can look at their beautiful fountain what bench maybe this bench oh wow what happened to my foundation by the way interesting it disappeared <laughs> i think i'm gonna put up some more trees and bushes back here just to hide everything up you know that's very good for me right now hiding everything up i need it all right here is the back garden in all its glory wow yeah it's looking very fine and dandy i must say i must say. All right, let's move on inside of this house. So I did a quick little layout just for our rooms. Also put in a staircase because we need a staircase. No matter what decade you're in, you need a staircase. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so right here we have the entryway, and then a kitchen slash dining room, and then we have a living room, and then upstairs we have a hallway, a bathroom, a primary bedroom, a kids slash teen bedroom, and an office. And that's me layout. Wabi wawa. So what are we going to start with first? I think I want to start with the kitchen slash dining room. So let's spin the wheel. <gasps> the 1950s. Wait, that was what I was hoping for. Because the 1950s kitchens, I mean, they're iconic, aren't they? This is too perfect. Wait, hold on. I mean, the pastel colors, the freaking kitchens. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So let's make this kitchen happen. So of course, we have to use this fridge. But in what color? Maybe pink? That could be a vibe. Do we have some, uh, what is that color called? Mint? Do we have something like that? I mean, we have it in this counter, but <laughs> that's too modern for the 1950s, aren't they? Aren't thou? All right, I have looked through all the counters <laughs> and the closest match to what I have to the 1950s aesthetic is uh, this. And I'm not happy about it. But um, what am I going to do about it? Right, let's go for the stove. And oh, we have to use this stove. Oh, that's the color that I want. Do we have that in this fridge? No, not really. Do we have it in pink? No, we do not. <laughs> oh, I love life. What am I going to do then? Okay. Okay, let's just use this color and we're gonna pretend that it's pink. It's pink from now on. Right, so where's the kitchen table gonna be? I think maybe here is the best bet. Do we have a 1950s table? Oh, we have this. That could work. Do we have some 1950s uh, chairs? Oh, okay. This is gonna be a problem. Now, I know that in the bowling pack, there's a lot of furniture that is inspired by the 1950s, but do I have that pack? No, I do not. Am I gonna buy that pack just for this table? No, I am not. You are crazy if you think I'm gonna do that. So we're just gonna improvise here. So we have this chair. No, I'm not gonna use that chair. All right, I think our best bet is these chairs. Oh, they are ugly though, but I think it has to be done or else it's gonna be this chair and I'm not doing that. Then we need some checkered flooring. Bop. Oh, that's too black and white. I don't like that. Do I have to make that myself? I guess I have to. Wonderful. All right, I think this flooring is a lot better because it's a little bit toned down, you know? For this pastel kitchen, I think that's working nicely. I do. And then I just need need some very nice curtains. Can I find that? Ooh, this can be the kitchen curtains. Do we have that in pink? 
think? Oh, yes, we do. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my kitchen. Beautiful. Now for over here. What kind of curtains do I want? This is gonna be interesting. Okay, I have looked through every single curtain and these are the closest that I could find. Yeah, 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 yo. I don't want to anymore. And I took down these curtains in a rage. Had a little bit of a rage, I must say. I, I did. Right. There is one thing before I forget it. We need some 1950s art. Now, there isn't a lot of it in here, but I thought of that Marilyn Monroe picture. This one. Now, did people in the 1950s have a huge old poster of Marilyn Monroe besides their dining table? I don't think so, but um, you know, it's up there now. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna put in some little decorations everywhere I go in this kitchen. What even is 1950s decorations? I don't, I don't, something probably. I mean, it's looking kind of cute in here. I tried my best to keep it to 1950s, but uh, <laughs> and I also put in a little vacuum because why not? Now I have to find some wall art for this wall that is very 1950s. How am I gonna do that? All right, I just put in the most random art ever that kind of reminds me of the 1950s. It's so ugly. I don't. What is this? I thought that that was a clock at first and I was like, oh, bread or clock? Right on, that's gonna be in the kitchen. Don't look at this side of the room. That's horrible. Just look at this side of the room and everything will be all right. But right, there is the kitchen all done and dusted. I think it's pretty cute in here. I do say so myself. All right, let's move on to the entryway slash hallway because this entryway and this hallway is gonna be one room, you know, because otherwise it's gonna be really boring to decorate this tiny little room in like the 1930s or something like that, you know? There's not much I can do up here. So this is one room. Boom. So let's go. Spin that wheel. Oh, the 1800s. I am not mad at that at all. Actually, I am nude. So maybe this flooring. Oh, I love that flooring. Nice. And then some wallpaper. I think this wallpaper. I mean, that would be nice. I like that little green color. I do. What else can we get for them? <laughs> what if I just have this big old curtain? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I love it. Right. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I just I just did it. I felt it in my bones. Right. Let's get a nice little entrance table up for them. Oop, and then just some very 1800s decorations. I mean, we can have that little ship. <laughs> nice ship. That is me 1800s decorations. Lovely. Yeah. What are we going to have over here? Maybe just a little table right there. And then just a chair. That's nice-ish. Okay. Now I need some pictures. That might do. And then some creepy family pictures. Yes. Okay. So that was the entrance and the downstairs hallway looking nice and cozy i still don't know what's going on with the carpets i have to think about that i just it confuses me i don't like it do not look at the carpets look at the walls instead wow okay let's go up to the upstairs hallway and let's do something funky in there as well all right so first of all i'm just gonna put up my table and i think on that table i'm just gonna put up these flowers again and then maybe some books because you know people in the 1800s they um they like to read that they did <laughs> hallway table <laughs> then we can have this lady lady of the house and then this man and then we need we need what do we need we need some plates no 1800s hallways complete without the plates but okay here's the hallway wow i wish i could have done more with this hallway but there's doors everywhere i don't know where to put stuff let's move on to the living room i think that's a good idea a splendid idea i must say let's spin the wheel the 1970s wait is that the style that i'm thinking of or am i thinking of something else hold on oh yeah that is that style it is the conversation pit and all holy moly me why is this so perfect i've gotten such good spins today what is going on right the living room we need a conversation pit so maybe that can be here maybe i just put up a little fence then i raise this down then i need to put in a little couch maybe an orange couch i mean that's more red ish but whatever i need that couch Ooh, but we do need some stairs though and that's not gonna work i think i need to push this out one block more. Hold on. All right, what if I just go like so? <laughs> I need that little space. It has to be done. And then for the flooring, I am thinking carpet and I'm thinking a brown carpet. Wow. It's the 70s. I mean, they do like their brown sun. More brown and uh, more brown and some green and some orange, but mostly brown. They love that brown. And then I am thinking of putting up this brown paneling. I mean, <laughs> oof. <laughs> that's that's a vibe, at least. And maybe we can put up some funky wallpaper in this pic. Okay, you know what? What about this wallpaper? <laughs> when else am I going to use that wallpaper? paper you know <laughs> lovely okay, let's put up a funky carpet maybe oh what about that carpet oh that's funky i love it and then on this little table i think we can put up a tv just a very old tv they probably had that in the 70s yeah in my mind i did what else can i put up for them all right i just put up some random stuff that they probably have in the 70s there you go and i think over here in this space of the room uh maybe a fireplace uh, maybe this and then just to make it pop a little bit more just put them some and then just frame it all in with some color.
columns. Wow, beautiful. And then I actually do need some decorations for that fireplace. So what can that be? And there you go. Look, there isn't that much 70s decorations. Okay, there isn't. But they probably had a deck. I don't know. Yeah, what can we have over here? Maybe a table? We can put up this table. Do they have that in orange? <gasps> they do. Oh, funky, funky table with some decorations on there. Beautiful. And then, of course, we can niche forget this. Pop. Nice. And then maybe we can have a nice and cool 70s chair in that little corner. Do we have one? Ooh, this. Yes. There you go. Oh my gosh. Is this a bad idea? I'm going to put up an amp stack in here with some guitars. Because you know the 70s, they like the music. I do think, I do hope, or this is going to be embarrassing for me. Okay, right. Now we need some curtains. Can I find some 70s curtains that fit that gosh darn window? Right. Yet again, I have looked through every single curtain. And the best one I could find is this one. Now, it is mahusive. And no, there is not a smaller size. But this is the smaller size in this type of curtain. So I'm just going to have to size it the frick frack down and hope for the best. Which I know. Let's put up some art. Maybe this. Sure. I like it. All right. So then over here, we also need some more paintings. And I find that somehow. All right. I could not find any more paintings that had that 70s vibe and fit our color theme. So I had to go onto the gallery and find some non-CZ art. Because I don't want CZ in my game. And I found this, which is by Flush Nugget. And it's called That 70s Art. So I think I'm just going to plop that down and um, put up my paintings. And there we go. Me 70s paintings. That's looking a lot better, actually. <laughs> a lot better. Oh, I need to put up my curtains over here, too. Oopsie. All right. I put up my curtains. And here is the nice 70s living room. Oh, wee wah wah. I mean, it's looking so cute in here. I, I actually like it. It's wonderful. It's kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that I'm trying to convince myself that it's cute. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, 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 I like that. Yeah, it's cute. It's nice. Okay, let's um, move on to another room. And what room is that going to be? Maybe the bathroom? That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Make a little bathroom. All right, so let's spin bathroom. Oh, okay, 2020s bathroom. Well, that's that's not very exciting, is it? It really isn't. <laughs> what is a 2020s bathroom? Okay, maybe I can get it with the black metal and stuff because that's very 2020-ish, I feel like. I've seen that a lot. Maybe I can go with that vibe with these things as well. You know, just push them close together like so. Oh, very beige. And then just a nice, simple carpet to just tie it all together in the holy matrimony of the 2020s bathroom. What carpet do I want to go for? That one. I love it. Let's just put in some decorations. Okay, so a little tip for those of you who don't know is when you try to place things and you just can't slot it into the right spot and you're just too lazy to do this trick, you know. You take it out and then you take this one out and then you place it and take this one back in. If you're too lazy to do that and you're also too lazy to use the tool mod, which most of the times I am, I just use this trick. I just place down some items on every slot like so and then I take this one out and then I place in the item that I want to place like so and then I take it out then I place this one again then I just scoot it over there into the right placement and that's how you do it and I just place in some random decorations there we go what else can I put in here I can maybe put in a little hamper there you go and then maybe a towel rack as well because why why not and that was the 2020s bathroom very nice and simple very beige wow well okay let's move on to the kids slash teen bedroom. Spin the wheel. Oh, the 2000s. Okay, this is getting weird. This is going too perfect for me. Way too perfect. Because the 2000s era is perfect for a kids slash teen bedroom. It's way too perfect. Okay, people are going to think that I'm cheating. I, know. <laughs> I need to get something bad soon. But okay, I need to search up a 2000s bedroom because uh, frankly, I am not really sure <laughs> what it looks like. Because you know, in the early 2000s, Nora was a bebe. So she did not know anything about interior your design. All right. She did not. Ooh. I'm sorry for that sound, but oh my gosh, I got so many flashbacks. I remember that style. Nobody in Norway had that bedroom, at least not my friends. Again, we were small children. I don't think we had these types of bedrooms, but I remember in the early days of YouTube, so many of those um, makeup gurus and stuff had this exact bedroom. So many memories. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think I'm going to go for this type of bedroom style. I mean, to be honest, it is kind of ugly. <laughs> that, that it kind of is, but it is also iconic iconic, you know? So yeah, that's uh, my uh, inspiration. So I think we're gonna start off with the pink walls. What is the pinkest of them all? Ooh, okay. This is the closest, I do believe. And then the bed. It would be a bed with a black frame and maybe some type of zebra print on it. I mean, we're not doing that. We're just not. Even though it is <laughs> kind of in the style, we're just not doing that. No, 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 no. Ooh, okay. What about this one? I think that's perfect because some of the rooms also have this type of pattern. So yeah, that, that it is. And then we do need that zebra carpet. This one. Well, all right. Now we need a dresser that can be in here. And I think this might do. Yeah. And then, of course, a desk. Maybe this. It wouldn't be exactly that one, but I just I felt the vibe and I went with it. I'm also just going to put up a 
chair here and I know exactly what chair. This one. Wow, beautiful. And then over this dresser, I'm thinking a mirror, a black mirror. Oh, wait, could that be good? <gasps> yes. <laughs> that is awful. That is fantastic. Love that. <laughs> and then I kind of want to put in the teddy bear that looks like Hello Kitty. But I mean, can I find that? Okay, what about this one? Do we have that in white? <gasps> we have. Okay, that can be Hello Kitty. There, there you go. <laughs> and then I need to put up some curtains. Do we have some nice black and white curtains? Maybe. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit over the top, I feel like. No, we're not gonna do that. Ooh, what about these? Those are black and white. Okay, yeah, I like that. That fits perfectly in here. And now we need a lot, a lot of decorations to make this place messy. And now let's see where we go. All right, so here is the first mess that I made. <laughs> it's beautiful. Put up some makeup stuff, jewelry, jewel it. I cannot say that word. Jewel, no. Right now for the desk space mess. What can I put on there? Interesting. Just put up some more random mess. You know, some more CDs, some makeup stuff. You know, you know, you're um, fighting with people on MySpace and you <laughs> painting your nails and drinking your coffee. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Okay, another nightstand. I need a light. Oh my gosh. Yes, that is perfect. And there you have it. The little nightstand table. The little nightstand table. It's just a nightstand, all right? It's just a nightstand. Okay, now I need to put up a lot of posters and stuff. So what can I do there? Ooh, of course. I need to put in Aubrey Hepburn. Cannot forget about her. All right, I put in a lot of mess. Just a lot of random stuff on the walls. So that's what they like. And that was indeed, my friends, the 2000s bedroom. Wow, wee, wow, wow. Right, let's move on to the office, shan't we? Oh, we shan't. So let's spin that wheel. The 1990s. Okay, what am I gonna do for that? <laughs> I don't know much about the 90s, I must say. But let's try, I guess. All right, let's do something like that. Now I remember, but well, I don't remember because, uh, you know, I wasn't there. <laughs> I mean, can I say that I was around in the 90s? I mean, I was. Okay, if you don't know, my birthday is 10th of August, 1999. So can I say that I was around? for the 90s? I mean, mentally, I was not there, you know? But I do remember the hype about the corner desk with all of those uh, shenanigans at the top. But yeah, let's do something like that, like a corner desk with lots of shelves, and it's gonna be fun. I think I'm not gonna use tables, because if I do that, then it's gonna look chunky. So maybe some shelves? If I just pick up these shelves, size them up a little bit, and then I'm gonna put up my computer, and just squeeze it in here, like that. And if I just take my tool mod, click on the table, and scale it to 0.1, bop, and then we have a teeny tiny little table down there which i'm gonna hide later but there is a little desk the beginning of it and now we shan't put up our shelves so i think maybe somewhere around here that's a good starting point then i want some sort of like a shelving unit around here can i get some of the it Ooh, what about that yeah that's very modern but that fits so perfectly let's just ignore the modernness of it we have to to survive this day all right and then what if i take that shelf and then i rotate it around 90 degrees like so then we have some sort of shelf situation there and then just the same thing on the other side maybe and that's what she did she did the exact same thing on the other side <laughs> all right let's put up some decorations around uh, on this desk maybe that's a good idea wabi wawa put up some books some plants some cds some little toys trying to keep it very 90s beautiful and then over here i thought we could have a little like uh, gaming corner because that's what you did in the 90s gamed and then i need some bean bags and sakosek that's what it's called in norwegian i want one that's um rutata. what is that in english rutata. checkered oh Okay, well, all right, more you know. Do we have a good color? Maybe, maybe something like that. For any users, we need a TV. Boop, there you go. Nice and chunky. And then we need a little gaming console. I mean, it really wouldn't be this. It would be like an old Nintendo shenanigan. But you know, we can, we can pretend. Yeah, sweet, sweet gaming console. Okay, we need a carpet. What's in the nice, ugly carpet? Oh my gosh, this one. That's very 90s. Yeah, what are we gonna have over here? Maybe this big old, oh yes, this big old stereo. Nice. And then just some more random stuff. Develop space. Oh, I need some type of curtains. Maybe some blinds. I can put up some very boring blinds, like these ones. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's gonna clip into the freaking shelves. What am I... What can I do there? Maybe if I take this big one and size it down, so it kind of looks like it's rolled up, you know? I think that looks good. Happy with that. This is a <laughs> very sad room. But yeah, here's the 90s room. Oh, la la, la la, la la. And now, we shan't move on to the last room of the house, which is the primary bedroom. And this is a big room. I do realize that. So let's hope we get something good. Let's spin the wheel. Oh, the 1960s fan. All right, so there's like a lot of yellow, a lot of orange. I see how it is. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with some um, hippie inspired type of shenanigan with some yellow orange stuff. Hope that made sense because that's what's in my brain right now. What bed though? Okay, that's an option. Oh, that bed is also an option. I don't know if they were really into bicker stuff in the 60s, but I love the pattern on the bed. I mean, I wish we could just mash these two into each other, but we can't. Now we need some nightstands. I can go with these. 
these those are nice and then i'm thinking of having a table there Ooh, this yeah now i need a carpet to just secure it all in and walk in that be all right i have looked through all the freaky frackety carpets i looked through them all and this is our best bet now am i happy with this no i'm not but uh, i think you just gotta just gotta deal with that you know and oh my gosh this is a big room what if we put up a wall just to fill up the space a little bit <laughs> raise some interest in this room and then i can put up this wallpaper to make a feature wall oh don't look at it too closely okay what we have on this wall maybe some uh, bookshelves or something yeah all right i can put up these those are pretty neat now i just need to decorate them oh yikes but before i do that i'm gonna put up some more stuff a dresser maybe what about this one i do like that all right that it is what can i have in this corner okay you know what i am gonna put up this chair is that very 60s i don't know maybe a mushroom no that's going too far what can i have in this corner Ooh, maybe a mirror that is not authentic 60s no they did not have that in the 60s but it is very 60s inspired isn't it this would have been cool but that takes up too much space uh, no i do not like that you know what i'll come back to the mirror i'll come back to you my dear and then i ooh that is so cute i'm gonna have this one just right there i love that wait 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 wait. i need need some lava lamps yes on the nightstands then i'm just gonna put up some random decorations on the nightstands add a little basket some writing stuff a little cage for some reason you know just nighttime stuff okay so on here what can i have there oh maybe maybe a record player i did have them record players all right i just put in some more random decorations you know some plants some posters and i also found these flowers that i'm gonna put up in my window sills you know <laughs> but okay these bookshelves i gotta put up some stuff on that all right what am i gonna put on there i don't know let's find out maybe a lot of books because they did read books yeah looking very cute even put up some planting tools because they do indeed need that they love them plants all right a tight show maybe i should have a mirror up there mm, what about this no ah uh, you know what okay i'm gonna i'm gonna use that mirror don't really think that 60s but um <laughs> close enough <laughs> now i just gotta get rid of this mirror well no i have grown fond of that mirror i have i think it's staying i i do believe so maybe i can put up a picture of a flower how about that if i can find a freaking picture of a flower what about bob pancakes he said i can't find a flower where is the freaking flower that i wanted show yourself oh there it is bob you got to go bob here's me room very nice and that that was the last room of this house oh me oh my all right welcome to the house tour and today i am actually going to do the house tour this present me is going to do the house tour and gee louis i hope this goes well it's the front of the house wow 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 i am not happy with the house i gotta be honest i just i'm just not happy i really am nude but here is me little flowers in me flower bed wow has the other flower bed hope you enjoy that and oh wow the pathway doesn't look half bad in this mode oh wow well let's step into the garden oh this is going so slow and do not look at that bush wall either it didn't turn out how i wanted it to turn out so ignore that we're going through it it is the back garden oh it's so dark on this side but wow here's the little fountain emmy plants you have to fall and here's the other side wow with some more plants amazing very amazing oh this is going so slow okay let's step into the entryway wow oh i forgot to paint the roof i have to paint the roof i'm in the ceiling hold on i'm okay when i tried to paint the ceiling some of the stuff disappeared even though i had the lesion protection on and everything it just disappeared so i think i put everything back to its place but if something is missing it's not my fault all right let's try this again let's walk into this beautiful hallway oh wow nice and 1800 ish and then here is the kitchen i'm not happy with the kitchen i wish i had the packs that had all the 90 1950s stuff but um you know i don't and i'm not gonna buy it not today but here is the kitchen oh yeah wow and let's step into the living room wow magnificent living room with some guitars and everything and the little conversation pit wowie wow wow all right let's walk upstairs to the other hallway oh that's floating in the air okay i gotta fix that oh what happened to the roof something happened do not look at that well that's embarrassing but let's walk in here i don't remember what room this is but let's walk in here oh it's the primary bedroom oh my gosh what happened to the roof what happened don't look at it there is the bed oh it's looking so cute in here i love it oh my gosh what is that what okay i'm gonna hide it but look cute and there's me little chair oh this is the funky corner oh my gosh the roof okay this is the funky corner or the groovy corner as i should say wow let's walk out of this room and into the next what is this room oh it's the bathroom wow oh the ceiling is beautiful isn't it what a nice boring bathroom indeed let's go to the next room which 
is in here. Oh, the desk area is so cute, actually. Like, I love it. Look at all the little nicky necks. Beautiful. And then the gaming area with the little plant. Let's walk into another room. I think it's this room. Oh my gosh, it's the teen's bedroom. <laughs> that is something else, isn't it? Oh, gee, Louis. It's so cool in here. Like, look at this. The mess. It's beautiful and very nice indeed. Very nice house. I don't know what to rate it because it's so late right now. But here it is in all its glory. And that was the house tour by Nora TM. All right, that was it for this time. I hope you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I did. <laughs> and if you for some reason want to download this house, it is up on my gallery. And my gallery ID is just Nora Gaming. Bam, bam, bam. Yes. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe because it really does help me out. So um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.